Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you this Thursday? I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I hope you are too this Thursday. Turn to your neighbor and give him a high five. Turn to your neighbor and give a high five. Turn to your neighbor and give a high five. Give him a high five this Thursday. Okay, guys, happy Thursday. Today is May the 7th, 2020. Welcome back. Okay, our question for today is, what two colors can we mix to create this color? Okay, this is pink. You can see well. Okay, what two colors can you create to make this color? Okay, guys, if you can, this is what I suggest. That, okay, painting relieves stress and painting is also fun. Okay, so what I've been doing, I've been getting a lot of puff paint from Walmart, from the craft section. And I've been like creating like little handbags and t-shirts just doing all types of creative stuff so this is also a fun activity you and your child can do together you can do painting they can do chalk writing um, on a sidewalk you can get all those cool things from Walmart just to keep them active and engaged and have that school feel so I suggest that you get you some puff paint some sidewalk chalk and just let them ha have fun you know outside um, but while you practice social distancing Okay, so you're going to do some research and you're going to tell me, drop it down in the comment section, what two colors make, that you mix together to make the color pink. Okay, that's our question of today. I, I love you, Rachel, is a silly me, love you, Rachel. You're going to come up with a bunch of little silly ideas and silly things you can do with your child to lighten the mood, to have fun, and just enjoy one another. Okay, and one thing, some things you can do is you can put your child's shoes on the wrong feet. You can put them on the wrong feet, see how they react. You can put your child's shoes or socks on their, you can put the child sock on their hand. Like we know socks go on, on their foot, but you can put it on their hand. Okay, or you can try to put it on their elbow. Okay, you can push the child's nose, belly button, or another body part to make a silly noise. Okay, you can comb the child's knees as if it were a natural and a co correct way to comb hair. You can blow raspberries on the child's hand, stomach, or other places. And you can name the noises by saying, there is an elephant in your hand. You can do, like, blow a little raspberry. You can blow another raspberry and blow three elephant calls and ask the child, how many elephants did you hear? Okay, so you can do little, little funny stuff like that with them uh, to, to keep the fun going. Okay, that was our I Love You ritual. Our, our read aloud is Alpha Breaths. Alpha Breaths. Okay, we read this in class and the kids really enjoyed this because they get to do different types of breathing. And with Alpha Breaths, like if you're stressed or need a calming moment, you can actually use some of these breaths to help you to calm. Okay, so we do calm, um, I calm in our classroom. So we use some of these alpha breaths to help us out. Alpha breaths, the ABCs of mindful breathing. Okay, parents, kids, you can help your parents out because y'all love doing these, so y'all can help them out, okay? A is for alligator breath. You can open your arms wide like alligator jaws on the in breath, snap them shut on the out breath. Alligator breath. B is for butterfly breath. You can spread your arms like butter, beautiful butterfly wings on the in breath and then let them flap gently on the out breath. Butterfly. C is cake breath. Breathe in as you imagine a birthday cake. Breathe out as you imagine blowing out the candles. You're going to breathe in like you blowing out the candles. Dolphin breath. Breathe in as you lift your arms up high. 
breathe out as you imagine diving into the ocean. Dolphin breath. Elevator breath. As you breathe in, imagine your breath going all the way up to the top floor of your belly. As you breathe out, imagine it going all the way down to the bottom. You can even count floors as you breathe. And we're gonna do this on three. Okay? We gonna as we go as we breathe in, we're gonna pretend that we're going up the elevator. As we breathe out, we're gonna pretend that we're going down. We're gonna do this on three. Ready? One, two, three. Let's do it again. One more time. Flower breath. Breathe in and imagine you are smelling your favorite flower. Breathe out and imagine that you are blowing the seeds of a dandelion. Gratitude breath. As you breathe in, think of a person you're grateful for. As you breathe out, send them a smile. So we're going to do this on three, two. Gratitude breath. One, two, three. Now smile. So breathe out. Okay. Hugging breath. Close your eyes. Give yourself a hug and gently breathe in and out. teach the kids like sometimes if no one is around like your favorite loved one or someone to encourage you you can like encourage yourself you can give yourself a hug or you can just think calmly and just breathe in and breathe out those are very helpful ice breath sit very still like you are frozen in ice notice how your body moves as you breathe in and out jay join your breath Join the rhythm of your in-breath and out-breath with a friend so that you are breathing in and out together. That's the ice breath. This is the joining breath. K, know your breath. As you slowly breathe in and out, check in with your five senses. What can you feel, hear, taste, smell, or see? Lion breath. Breathe in, feeling brave and strong like a lion. Breathe out, letting out a powerful roar. And L, the lion breath is one of their favorites too. Lion breath. Mountain breath. Breathe in and breathe out while keeping your body still like a mountain. In ninja breath. Pretend that you are a ninja. Breathe in and out as silently and slowly as you can. Okay, shout out to Isaiah. Isaiah, he loved the ninja breath. Oatmeal breath. Breathe in and imagine you are smelling a bowl of hot oatmeal. Then breathe out like you are blowing on your oatmeal to cool it off. So that, that's the sub similar to like the candle breath. Perfume breath. As you breathe in and out, what perfume can you smell in the air? Question breath. As you breathe in, ask yourself how you are feeling. As you breathe out, answer. R. Redwood breath. Breathe in and reach your arms up high like branches extending onto the sky. Breathe out and imagine you have roots growing from your feet deep into the earth. This is the question breath. Okay, this is the rosewood breath. Superhero breath. Breathe in and imagine you are a superhero. 
breathe out and imagine how you will help someone. Okay, shout out to everyone. Every with this superhero breath, everybody imagine they, they were their own superhero. You had some with Wonder Woman, Superman. Can't think of the others. Um, Black Panther. So they, it was it used to be so fun to watch when they used to do their um favorite superhero and they would breathe in. Well, this is one of this is our class fave, the superhero breath. Teddy bear breath. Lay down on your back and put a teddy bear on your tummy. As you breathe in and out, watch your teddy bear go up and down. This would be a fun one to do at night time, during bedtime. If they have a stuffed animal, they can put the stuffed animal on their tummy. Just breathe in and out and watch how the stuffed animal moves. Underwater breath. Paddle your arms, imagining you are underwater. Breathe in and out, blowing bubbles through your scuba gear. Voice breath. Take a big breath in and sing la as you breathe out. W wish breath. Breathe in and make a happy wish for yourself. Then breathe out and send a happy wish to someone else. X xylophone breath. Imagine playing a xylophone from the bottom to the top of on the in breath. Then play it from the top to the bottom on the out breath. yawning breath breathe in a big mindful yawn paying attention to all the sensations you feel then let your breath out z breath imagine falling asleep close your eyes take a big breath in and hold it then slowly let out your breath imagining a long z This was our read aloud for today. Okay, already Rosie, you are going to rewatch routine transition timer, and you're going to use a different transition time from the first one. You're going to practice the transition by using a timer as a reminder to transition from one activity to the next. So you're going to use a different transition. If you had used probably play time the first time, you might want to use rest time or time to read. So use a different one. Use your time or your signal to get them to transition from the last activity to the next. Okay, so that's our ready, Rosie. Our extended learning is bounce and count. Okay, you're going to invite the, the child to join you in a large indoor or outdoor space. Okay, it could be paved or sidewalk. Okay, you're going to give the child a ball and have the child to predict how many times the ball will bounce when it, it drops. Okay, so they're going to predict it first, okay, probably um, before you start bouncing the ball. And then you're going to demonstrate how to hold the ball out in front of you and release it. And count each bounce allows you. are going to teach them how to hold the ball out, you know, out and then how to release it. To teach them how to basically bounce or dribble a ball. Okay, that's our extended learning for today. And this concludes our class for today. Um, continue doing a great job continue watching the videos continue um, responding to the questions and I'll see you on tomorrow have a good one I wish you well bye bye